Welcome everybody, it's Sandy. I should put my microphone on first, then you can actually hear me. Let me do that. Never a dull moment with me, right? Okay, microphone is on. There we go. I'm going to try a pendulum painting. This is going to be a completely first time try in the new art studio here. I've got a big block of wood with a contraption, a bottle ready to go to get filled with paint. So we're going to give it a whirl and see if it works with a fluid base, which is the white acrylic. I'm going to give it a quick little torch. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. And I'm really hoping that this is going to work. If not, you probably will never see this video. <laughs> but let's fingers crossed. I just got something dark in my paint here. I'm going to pull it out. I'm not sure what that was. All right. Now for the fun part. Oh, I should show you this painting too, which I mentioned in my last video, two videos ago. The glitter. I wanted to show you once it was dry. Hopefully it's showing how sparkly that glitter is. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm not sure if it actually turned out as a waterfall per se like I wanted, but it's definitely looking like an underwater abstract scene. It's just gorgeous. All right, so we'll put that one aside so I don't wreck that guy. Okay. So let's bring my bottle forward here. See if we can get it as centered as possible. Might have to move my canvas a bit out of view, but it'll just be temporary. And I'm gonna, I got a bottle with the cap on it here, so hopefully it's not gonna pop off as I fill paint in there. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna pick red gold, bronze, and black. Call me crazy, but that's what I'm thinking I want to do. I'm going to start with black, and I'll probably end with the black color. So let's hope that this holds. So black in first. And then I'm going to go with bronze love the bronze so I think I probably put a little bit extra bronze in there it's holding so far that's a good sign then red and I'm also holding it on the side so that we can try and layer the colors not have them mix too much. It's red and gold. Whoop, we're gonna have to make that a little bit higher. So it's getting heavier. Okay. And then finish it off with some more black. Okay, so I have about a half a bottle of paint. Might have to make it a little bit higher. It's gonna float in my white. So I'm gonna do another loop here. It's hanging approximately in the middle. Okay, everybody hold their breath. Let's see if this works. Okay, caps are all on. Videotape is rolling. I'm going to pull this back. Try and pull my cap off without making too much of a mess and let it go. One, two, three. Got my finger over it. Let's go. Ooh, pretty so far. 
Oh my goodness, I'm liking this. Grab something to stop it as it goes wider and wider. Okay, now I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to turn my canvas, I think. I think I want to turn it. Without pouring the paint off. There we go. Bring it back this way some. Towards the middle. Okay, I'm going to let her go again. One, two, three, go. Okay, I want to go this way a little bit, I think. Well, that was a bit shaky, but that's okay. Yeah, it's dripping, but I don't mind the dripping. Not sure why it's dripping, but... Okay, I'm going to go in this direction now. Come on, pour out of there. Did we run out of paint? That's exactly what happened. I ran out of paint, but it still looks really cool. Got some personality in there for sure. Okay, I think I'm gonna put in some more red. And I'm gonna put in some more gold I'm gonna let that one go this way <laughs> it looks really neat this is going to be a very interesting abstract painting. Okay. I like how the red's showing up, so I'm just going to make sure we don't run out. I'm going to do more red. I'm going to do more gold. It's going to be a lot of painting in that area, but worth it. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Okay. Now, how do I get this guy going here? I'm going to pull from this side. I just helped it a little bit, so it's okay. I just want a little bit more splatter. There we go. That actually <laughs> looks really cool. I know it probably looks like a big mess right now. I'm just going to lift it quickly. I don't even know, do I want to move it around some? Do I want to leave the lines? Wow, it's just entwined everywhere. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with it. I think I want to leave it like this. I'm going to give it a torch.
got some really neat cells happening with the gold popping out through the red. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's very cool. You know what? I'm not going to be able to completely show you this until it's totally dry because if I move it around too much, I'm going to lose the entwined effect on it. But I would say this is a definite success. I need to master going straighter with this pendulum and cover a little more consistent circular motion. More practice will definitely make this outstanding. Alrighty, thanks everyone for joining me.